What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Austin today, who's bringing a really interesting team. The best part is, no OU Pokemon. I guess you can argue Hydreigon, to an extent, is OU, but most of it is UU, are you? And um, that makes me pretty excited, because our team is not necessarily OU. But, um, who are you going to start with? Pokemon that I fear, just to take note of are going to be the Arcanine and the Milotic and the Hydragon there. The Copra Jaw may be something to be to fear about. I've never gone against one to be honest. Well, I think I have to be honest, but they didn't do they weren't really a threat. Um Moro Moro Tom is an underrated Pokemon and uh Jolteon, my favorite evolution, is a threat. So um I think we're gonna start with him on top because if he goes into a physical attacker, then we get the Intimidate. If he goes into a special attacker, we got the Assault Vis. So Hitmon Top is going to be the best Pokemon in order for us to start. I got a feeling his Copper Jaw is not necessarily a G-Max Copper Jaw. I feel like it's more of a support set with a um, with the Stealth Rock and things of that nature. So let's get started. We updated our Elite card. We updated our style because it matches my hair more, a little bit more in real life. And my lead card in the back if you guys want to collect it it actually has the team we're using for this the link um or my card code is going to be at the end of this battle so make sure if you guys want to collect my lead card be sure to collect that so we got the copper jaw here and it's probably going to try to set up the uh, uh self rock so because of that we're just going to get a little bit of chip damage by going for the fake out here and then we'll see what he decides to go for there so let's just wait <sighs> it feels so good to be back with uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. I know you guys have been watching these videos consistently every week that they get uploaded, but I actually um, got ahead a week because my girlfriend tore her meniscus update, and I've been taking care of her ever since. So, yeah, um, I think right now we're going to go into the Palo Sand. Just in case, it, you know, the amount of damage that it did, it makes me feel like it's a phys uh, physical tank. But at the same time, it's not necessary. Oh, thank goodness we got out of there. We're going to go back into the hitmon top here because at that point, we're going to get it at minus two. I'm so glad that Power Whip missed. I, I forgot that Copper Jaw gets the Power Whip, and that's the team we used. Um, I Not necessarily the last team we used, was it? See, that's how long it's been since I recorded. So it feels good to be back, my boys. Still does a lot of damage, and rightfully so, because Copper Jaw does, um, it's, it's attack stat, pretty massive in my opinion. It's HP and attack stat are pretty massive. So we're gonna go Earthquake here, hopefully it does a lot of damage. Let's see. I will take it. I will take it. Okay. So now, that I showed him I got the Earthquake, I'm gonna go Close Combat next. In case he wants to go into, uh, in case he wants to be smart and go into High Dragon, that's what we're gonna do. So go out into High Dragon. I triple, double dog dare you to go out into the High Dragon. Or Rotom. I don't care. Whichever one you want to go out to, feel free to do so. Switch it. He's Dynamaxing. Is this a G-Max Cop? If it's a G-Max Cop, we might have a battle on our hands. I don't know. It is a G-Max Cop. Are you running Max Knuckle like I did? Boom House officially boomed. Okay. You're, prob you're going down regardless because I know how it's speed. And this is going to be a... This Did you see that? That was that wasn't very smart, was it? Please learn from your mistakes, ladies and gentlemen. I've learned, I tried to learn from my mistakes. I obviously almost messed up going into the Palo Sand earlier. But yeah, let's see. I don't know who he wants to go out to next, to be honest. Him on top is a is is pretty underrated. I know there's other Pokemon that overshadow it, but still. Okay, so I thought about staying in just now, but I don't think it's smart given Given um, oh, well, I think I'm just gonna is it worth sacking off him on top at this point? I Don't think so as much as I would like to I don't think so um, What do I got for the uh, Rotom I got Cloyster I got Venusaur and I got Ninetales. Um, the question is, does Ninetales outspeed the Rotom? If it's Scarfed, we're in trouble. 
What are you just gonna go with nine tails here? Set up the set up the sun. If nine tails goes down, we at least get eight turns of uh, sun. So I'm worried, but not worried, depending on what he goes out to. So I don't know quite yet. Let's see. Sunlight turns harsh. Leaf storm. I figured you'd go for the leaf storm. And um, so I got extra sensory. Um, what is the other type of attack? Shadow Ball. So none of those are going to really hurt the... I'm going to go Cloister next, I think. I'm going to go Cloister. So in case the High Dragon wants to come out, I'm going to hit a Shell Smash and try to knock it out. That's the goal. That is the goal. I hope he's prop Bolt Switch is the thing. <laughs> what was I just saying about learning from your mistakes? Boy! I messed it up. I messed it up for us really bad. That's okay. We're going to go into uh, your boy Venusaur. We're going to try to pick up a sweep. I think we can pick up a sweep. I'm almost certain we can pick up a sweep. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for a Growth in case this thing wants to go for a Volt Switch. Um, will o -Wisp doesn't worry me. Um, I don't... I can't believe I completely switched my Pokemon. My, my Ice... My Water-type Pokemon into this Pokemon here, so... Yeah! Intimidate goes off, which uh, is a little bit scary to an extent, I will admit. I'm gonna go Growth. My question is, should I stay in? I think I am, because I'm gonna hit the Sleep Powder here, and hopefully it hits. Hopefully it hits. Sleep Powder? It hits? Yes, boys! That's what I'm talking about. The pieces to the puzzle are coming into place. Okay, so now... What we're gonna do is go for another growth. We're gonna go for another growth. And then we're gonna Dynamax and get a sweep going. That's the goal. That is the goal. That is the goal. And that's what makes Venusaur so threatening, to be honest, is that sleep powder. The sleep powder growth the combo. Please don't go and see. I hope his high dragon doesn't have the fire type attack. That's what I'm hoping for. Growth, here we go. What does this Arcanine have for me? What? What? We've just lost. What? How does that happen? How does that happen? Oh, man, that's what I get for getting overconfident. Pokemon, I forget Pokemon hates me. I forgot Pokemon hates me. I was right there. I was right there. I had it. I had the victory. Oh, my goodness. The bad luck continues. I'm going to go Palace Sand. We got the Scorching Sands for this thing, so there is that. There is that. Um... I think we set up the Stealth Rock. We set up the Stealth Rock for a reason here. Flare Billets, go ahead. It's not going to hurt me too much. It hurts me. That's a Choice Bandit. It's Choice Bandit. You have to be Choice Bandit. Okay. That says something. So now, I don't feel like I can go for a... Wait a minute. At the same time, the sun is up. That's, that's also something to be concerned about. Okay, I think we're going to go for the Scorching Sands here instead of going for the Stealth Rock. So, setting up the sun kind of bit me in the butt. But at the same time, in my defense, I was... It's a Rotom. It's a Rotom. Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, no. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. This changes the game again. The sunlight fades, which is good because we don't need it anymore. <laughs> I really can't believe my luck. I would have gotten the sweep right there. I would have gotten this sweep. I'm going to go Stealth Rock. He's probably going to go Leaf Storm. And we're probably going to go down. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So the good news is his Arcanine has... Uh, I think Ninetales is our win con at that point. I think Ninetales is the, is the win con. We set up the sun again. This thing confirmed to us that it's not scarfed. So I think we go flamethrower, right? Or solar beam. I'm gonna go flamethrower. 
If this thing wants a heart switch, let him. Let him. We need at least a victory. We need a knockout here. And please knock it out. I know he has the berry, but please knock it out. Oh my goodness. Bolt switch. Bolt switch. Discharge. Okay, that's at least good news. We don't get. We live. It's a crit. <laughs> it's a paralyzed. Oh my goodness. My luck with this game. The bad luck continues. And I'm so salty right now. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe Pokemon's not my niche. Pokemon hates me. The hacks. The hacks. Okay. There's nothing I can do to win. At least I feel like at this point. I'm gonna go hit my top. We can probably take an attack from this Rotom. Probably. I hope. Um. I'm just gonna close combat in case he wants to switch. I. I didn't want to go fake out because it would be a waste of a turn. Let's say he does switch out, then um, fake out would be useless at that point. This guy just 5 0 would me because of some hacks. That's why. That is why. We had the winning pieces, and the Ark and I just said, you know what? I don't like you. I'm going to wake up and I'm just going to make you cry. And I'm crying internally. Not going to lie. Close combat. And then um, I think Arcanine just has to come out and sweep. That's it. That is it. We're not invested in speed, so Arcanine is going to outspeed us, given that it's a hard-hitting Arcanine. Um, I mean, Luxury still has a chance to bring it back for us. Though it's not very likely. It's not very likely. And the sun is up is the worst part. The sun is up. The sun is up. It's game over, you know? I was so excited to come back into a Wi-Fi battle, and I was just reminded as to why I should not be excited. All right. We get we, we get knocked out. And then Luxray is our next best. Of, it's, it's our only hope. It's the only hope. Good, good news is that we're, we're guts. But at the same time, I don't think it's enough to get us out of here. It's not enough to pull us out of the um, out of the one four that <laughs> disadvantage that we're in. If he if he does, I'll be happy. But given that, it's banned. Okay, there's that. There is that. I'm gonna go for the crunch. A dragon will probably outspeed me, more than likely because I'm adamant nature. It's game over. That's what it comes down to. And even if he comes out into let's say the. Um, my Lodic, if I hit him with a with a wild charge, I'm gonna get hit with recoil, and it's just Jolteon now speeds me. There's no coming back from this. There is no coming back from this. My Lodic comes out. I'll be able to knock this thing out and bring it at least a little bit more respectable. But I really don't think I can come back. Watch this my Lodic live somehow. Okay, that's good news. There is at least that. I still lost. You see, because I'm also gonna get burn damage here. And I think we brought it back to one and three. Maybe, right? I don't know either. I don't know either. Sparky the Bolt, the Jolteon comes out. And it's game over here. It's game over. Play rough, just cause. Not, it's not like it matters because it outspeeds us. Jolteon's one of the fastest Pokemon in this game. It's done. I hope you're happy with your hacks. I am a little bit salty, as you guys can tell. And that's going to be it for this Wi-Fi battle. We lost because of hacks. I've never seen anybody wake up after one turn of sleep. Never. He woke up like... that. He, he just woke up that fast, you know? Um, I'm not taking your lead card. But uh, that was a really good battle, Austin. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed the salt. Comment down below on your MVP, most valuable Pokemon vote, in the comment section down below. And subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy, Daddy Max, signing off. I'll see you guys next time.